Welcome back from the Summer Explore Challengers. We are so excited to do science again with you. I'm Lee. I'm Marina. My name is Molly, and my favorite challenge so far was learning how to place pitfall traps and identify insects. What was yours? What was yours? What was yours? We can't wait to do brand new challenges. Stick with us each week and notice our challenges evolving or changing over time as we get a new website and keep adding videos with new scientists. Please always be in touch with ideas you have for new challenges. Send us your email with your ideas. You can send those ideas to explore at biobus.org. This week's challenge, the first of the school year, is a throwback to one released over the summer. Emily challenges you to build your own water strider. Have fun! Good luck! Hi, my name is Emily and I'm a junior scientist at Biobus. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the properties of water and surface tension and showing you how to build your own DIY water striders. To do this experiment with me, you're going to need to pick up a few things you probably already have lying around the house. Some cardboard, some scissors, some tape, a container or tub that you can fill with some water, and then it might be helpful to have a stopwatch, ruler, and pen or marker. First things first, you're going to want to measure out a strip of cardboard that's about three inches on one side and about a half inch going the other way. Cut it out with your scissors and then make three or four more of the same size. Once you've got all your strips cut, your next step is gonna to be to arrange them in pairs and across like this and tape them that way. After you've got all of your crosses done, it's time to fill up your tub with water. It only needs to be about two to three inches deep. So water is made up of lots and lots of tiny molecules and between each of the molecules, there are strong attractive forces that keep them together. At the top of a body of water all over the surface, those forces are really, really strong, which creates a surface tension. This is a real water bug, and because of the surface tension, it's able to walk on water. So, you've already seen the classic water strider, but I decided to make one where I attach sponge pieces to each of the legs, and one where I attach pennies to each of the legs. I encourage you to try these ones, or to see what you have lying around the house to attach to your legs, and see if that'll make a difference. So a real water bug's legs have a hydrophobic surface. Hydrophobic just means something that repels water. Hydro, water, phobic, not into it. This is part of the reason why they can walk on water. Cardboard absorbs water, but if you want to try to vary your experimental conditions, try making the water bugs out of something hydrophobic or giving your bugs some hydrophobic legs. Water surface tension is super duper important in science and in everyday life. Water's high surface tension is the reason why rain comes down in spherical droplets. It's the reason why so many plants and animals like the water bugs are able to float on the water surface, which is really important for the ecosystem. Even humans use its properties up to our advantage all the time. For instance, we use it when trying to make detergents that clean better and paints that stick better to surfaces, and even when we're trying to make medicines more effective. I worked on this project with my partner, Addison Lev. We are so excited for you to try and to let us know how it went. Make sure to send us any photos that you have, any data that you recorded, or any observations that you made. Feel free to also send in any of the questions that you have that we might be able to answer for you. And best of luck.